Hello, guys. This is Dr. Lior Barrell. Um, so as I told you before, as long as you guys, uh, you know, write to me and request, I will keep doing videos on whatever the topic is and all of that. So right now, my channel covers a ton of things from video games, from unboxings, for, and I always give you guys honest reviews. Also, I do, uh, you know, computer tech stuff, uh, you know, IT uh, support and all of that stuff for y'all. So, um... Right now I got a request, and it is a very, very good request. It's something that affects everybody. I remember I bought keyboards for $200, $300 as I did reviews on my uh, page. You guys could see that. And some of them would just flat out not work. A certain button would not work anymore. Or you would have a button that would just continuously type on its, on its own, ease all the way through. Or let's say you type on one button, it would have like, uh, you know, let's say on the E, uh, it would be like E7892 or whatever. Or sometimes you even click on the buttons and it's like another, um, another letter or number. Uh, that doesn't belong to that. But one of the major things that affect people are the continuous button pressing or the automatic. Um, you know, you you just hit the rename button on the um, uh, whatever on whatever document, and it would just start suddenly just write a, a bunch of things and go all over the place, and it's just crazy. And nobody knew how to fix it. A lot of you guys went and uh, you know cashed in on your warranty. And, you know, you got it back and said, what the hell, this thing still doesn't work. Some of you guys said it did fix the problem. So I'm just going to address this right now. And I got a perfect solution for y'all, okay? First off, I'm not going to take hardware issue out. But uh, most of my clients that call me to fix stuff, uh, most of them, it, it, it's a software issue. And also an issue that could be uh, a combination of hardware and software together. So I'm going to get into that right now. Now, first off, we're going to talk about hardware. A lot of the times, you're going to have gunk in your keyboards. I type a lot. I do gaming a lot. I do editing a lot. There's a lot of stuff I do with the keyboard. I'm using the the uh, Corsair, uh, you know, 95, the uh, uh, Platinum Edition, you know, with the lights and all. Here it is. Uh, you guys know I reviewed it. Uh, and also, I have the Razer. I have the Logitech one. And I got to tell you something, that because we type a lot, a lot of the times we tend to eat. A lot of the times, uh, you know, uh, gunk gets stuck in there. I had a client that had roaches in there, which is crazy, but it, it does happen. I mean, bugs will go underneath it. I mean, it just goes, especially if you're living in an, uh, in an apartment, you can't escape bugs no matter how much you do, you know, pesticides or, you know, any type of ex exterminator you hire. You're always going to have a bug here and there, okay? And that bug can get into underneath, or you could have, have even an infestation. But the point is, it could go right underneath and ruin your entire prints. Now, I do a lot of 3d printing as well as i showed you guys i built my 3d printer i do my uh, you know 3d work and all kinds of stuff a lot of that gunk i'm some, sometimes sitting down and ripping out you know the supports and it flies underneath like right now i literally have underneath i could see already there's some gunk in there from the uh from the white pla plastics so crap can always get stuck in there especially if you're eating food which i don't recommend you do and i'm not i'm, I'm a hypocrite for saying that because i do it all the time as you guys can see i just that salsa and all kinds of other crap. So, I mean, because uh, I do most of my work on the computer all the time. And then, of course, when I go to real work, I go out there and do stuff. But I always come back when I do editing and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, not just this, but weddings and stuff like that and whatever. But the thing is, I'm sitting hours on end on a computer. Also, when I'm playing games. Hour on in on the computer. So sometimes, I, you know, I'm checking out the internet. I'm eating. Things go into the into the keyboard. So best thing to do is now, I don't know if all keyboards, so don't kill me if I'm wrong here. Not all keyboards, the keys move easily. With these models, they do. A lot of them, they have remove, removable ones. So you get, I don't know where it is, but they have pickers. Uh, don't do it with your fingers because I've done it many times and there's times that it broke. So I'm telling you, don't do it uh, regular. Take uh uh, they're special pickers. They're extremely cheap. You can buy them on eBay. In fact, I'm going to link them down below in the description. So what you do is you uh, put that in there. You remove one. My thing is, I think you should remove all the keys. But remember always when you do that so you don't get mixed up, have a picture maybe. Or what I do is I like to put them exactly in order on the side like on a cardboard. Take your sweet ass time. I'm telling you, do not rush this. You're going to regret it. Take all of the keys out. 
start wiping it down, you know, uh, use anything, uh, to, uh, any type of uh, thing to clean it out. I like to use my uh, um, air vacuum that I showed you guys. I reviewed that. I'll put that in the uh, description as well below. I got to look for it. I hope they didn't take it down. I know because I had some music that was apparently copyrighted. But, um, you know, so whatever. So uh, I'll look for it. If not, I'll link it to the des uh, description as well that you guys could buy it. Um, uh, from You could get it from any store. Again, I don't support, I don't endorse any of this crap. So uh, I'm not giving you links that have my code in it or whatever. I don't I do honest reviews. I don't owe anybody anything, and that's why I, I'm just going to name the damn brand, look for it on eBay, and just go ahead and get it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do just so people feel at ease because I know there's a lot of liars on YouTube, and I don't, I don't want to be roped into that. So I'm just going to write you the names, look it up on eBay, and just get them. Um, and, I mean, you could try them out also. Some stores will let you try it. The point is it's always good to do it with a dry vac. Afterwards, you know, if you want, you could dry pad it with... Um, uh, you know, a uh, damp cloth or something. I like to use, and I know a lot of people are going to call me stupid for this, but it really works. I like to use baby wipes. I think it works really, really well on it. I like to use Clorox. I like to use those, uh, you know, the, the um, uh, what, is, what is that, those towelettes, whatever. And it works for me. But I like, most of the time, I ha all I have to do is, like I told you, I got plastics. It's just probably dust in there. And, and a lot of the times, as I showed you guys, you might even have problems with your mouse, where your mouse isn't working anymore, like the buttons, certain buttons or the, the scroll wheel. A lot of the times when you take an air suppressor can, which you could also use that, but believe me, if you get the vacuum, it'll you know pay for itself. You just squirt it in there, squirt it, you know, the air, and, and then it works fine. So the same thing, you want to do it dry as much as possible, but if you have gunk like oils and crap like that, you got to just remove it. So remove it, pat them down with something, get rid of that oil, and once that happens, it should work fine. Now, if, if there's a damaged button, that could happen too, but to be honest with you guys, that really rarely happens. Even though these things have like a number of uh, t uh, types and all that, I know a friend of mine that still has a keyboard from 1996. Okay, if you look at how a keyboard is built, yes, it has a thin layer of a rubber that could poke through, but you really have to be abusive with that in order to actually crack through. So most of the people that have an issue and they say they got their printer for a year or six months and it's not working, you know that cannot possibly be an actual in-the-hardware issue. It could be the gunk, it could be a lot of things, but most likely it is software issue. Now, how do you fix the software issue? What could it be? Well, it's very simple. Uh, a lot of the times when I had it, I had a Windows update going that kept failing. So sometimes you're going to have failing window updates, and this is why I don't like doing automatic updates, and I recommend everybody shut the automatic off if you can do it. I know on Windows 10, some of you guys have that ability, some of you don't. I'll uh, link you in the description below how to do it, but I know uh, for the Home Edition, some people said it, they didn't have these options, so I'm not sure how it works on Windows 10, but Windows 7, anybody that has that, Windows 8, you guys can, can find ways to do it. Uh, but I'll link you in the description to one of my one of my videos on how to fix that. But the point is, when you do it, uh, you're going to notice that uh, on automatic, sometimes it doesn't go through, and it hits like somewhere in the middle, and your computer gets cra it crashes. You restart, and it never starts again. It actually erased and screwed it up for you because you shut it off on its own. Sometimes it could happen just from corrupted files when you're shutting off the computer prematurely, as it happens if you have the bizarre, the, the blue screen of death, or just to get stuck or whatever, and you know you're impatient, or it just gets stuck completely and just doesn't work. And a lot of the times we tend to shut off the computer and restart it and then what happens is that all your drivers are pretty much corrupt at that point until you update it. And you, and f for some odd reason on Windows 10, it doesn't it, it just stays on the fail and doesn't keep retrying. I don't know why it does that. So I just put it on manual. So then I know when I'm doing it and therefore I don't have something going on in the background where I'm not going to know. I don't know why this is going on like automatic or whatever. Let me shut this off. Uh, so that's what that's my take on it. What I think you guys should do is put it on manual and then update your windows. That's the number one thing you guys should do is update your windows. Secondly, okay, update your firmware for the keyboard. Sometimes you'd be amazed. Again, because it's manual uh, or automatic, it's, it's a whole issue. But always put it on manual and you'll see that you have, if you did put it on manual, you didn't update. So you got to update it. When you update, especially this is what fixed my issue before, 
uh, you update it, it works very, very well. And it just, it just uh, somehow just works again. Uh, and it doesn't give me any issues. Another thing would be restarting the machine. It happens. Uh, another way is to pull it out. And this worked for one of my clients when I did this. I pulled it out of the actual USB port. Now, when you put it in another USB port, same crap happens, but it's weird. I just kind of power cycled it. So I pulled it out of the USB cord. I was trying to figure out what to do. Then I said, you know what? Let me just see how it works. Plugged it back in after like about 20 minutes or so, and then bam, it works. So, I mean, these things could actually just need like a re, you know, input. So these are really the things that would fix the issue. So I see a lot of YouTubers, they're saying it's a hardware issue right away. Bullshit. Because it could be a number of things. But if you have a, a keyboard that you only had for like a year, six months, a year, two years, three years, most likely it's not the hardware. It could be like the gunk and stuff in the hardware, yeah. But I'm saying it's something that's not within the hardware. Like your, your keyboard is not broken. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, we have a warranty, so we're going to send it away. When you send it, you're paying for shipping. Put that into the, into the box here. So give it a shot. You might be surprised that it most likely is a software issue. Okay, I had a lot of keyboards that I work with, with clients and stuff. From anything, even in Wall Street, we had, uh, what is it? Uh, they had uh, uh, Bloomberg keyboards. And uh, one of my friends, he called me as an independent guy. He said, can you come over here and help me out? Uh, the IT doesn't know what the hell to do. And, you know, this is one of my favorite keyboards. I don't want to pay now another $300, $400 for it. Can you fix it for me? I said, sure, give it to me. I, I took it. I did a cleaning on it. And whammo, it worked. Okay, so sometimes it could be on the hardware issue, not within. Uh, but a lot of the times, most, most of the times, it ends up being software. So it could be very well a software issue. So the first step I would do, first thing is I think that this is the first thing you should do. I know you probably don't want to do this. It's very time consuming, but take a day out, out of your off day, okay? Take out every one of the keys. Believe me, you're going to thank me anyway because it'll prevent, you know, later damage later on. Even water damage could occur. There's residue and, do you know, points and all kinds of crap that you need to clean out. So let's say you did that, right? So what you do is take out all the keys, pat it down, you know, clean it, whatever, put it back on, and then if it doesn't work again, Focus only on the software, but I recommend you do this first and then focus on the software itself. Go to Windows, set it a manual, uh, restart uh, the update. If it says that you're already updated on that, start to update the, key, uh, the keyboard itself. See how that works. Pull out the USB, plug it back in. Now, another thing is if you have another keyboard, what you could do is, and uh, you know, it, it doesn't work all the time and I'll tell you why. You guys could plug in the other keyboard and it might work, okay? And you'll see that your other keyboard works. And a lot of YouTubers now I'm hearing, they're saying, well, if your other, the other keyboard works, that means this thing is broken. Uh, y your original is broken. That's not true. You see, these things have memory. And any little thing that goes wrong with their software, what's going to happen is it only affects this keyboard. So it still is a software issue. So don't rule that out yet. But put in another keyboard. And just test it just for, say, for the sake of that and then say, okay, it can't be. You know, do a process of elimination. Okay, trial and error. Then you go into this. Believe me, it's not going to take you more than about 30 minutes to do all this. Do it with a calm head and you'll be surprised at the results you'll get. <clears throat> Almost every client I had except for the case of three maybe, uh, it was a software issue. And I have a lot of clients, okay, a lot of client lists. So we're talking three out of like hundreds. It was a hardware issue. Okay, so most likely, you know, and what I mean by hardware issue, either it came as a defect because the when I opened the board, uh, there was uh, a short circuit in the actual uh, motherboard. So things like that could happen. Very, very rare that happens. Um, I'm going to tell you that unless you like pour a whole, you know, I've even had people who poured crap on their keyboards and it's it still worked. So I'm, but it could happen, you know, water damage, uh, some kind of, you know, thing happened. I, I don't know. It could happen, but it's so rare. You wouldn't believe it. So don't rule it out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Definitely subscribe to the channel and keep requesting anything that you have problems. Put it in the comment section below. Email me on the uh, whatever YouTube and I'll see again. Like I told you, I, once I duplicate an error, 
I will correct it and I will make a video. So I duplicated this error over and over again. I don't need to try to duplicate it. It happened many times to me, to clients, and this is how it works and it's just the way it is. Uh, so, you know, computers are flawed. There's issues, there's all kinds of problems, but it could also be your flaws. So just keep that in mind, okay? So that's really all I have to say about that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I'm gonna link you down to in the description. Definitely check out um, what I recommend you get. It's just something to help you out with the, the cleanliness. I always use it on my computer as well. I clean out the dust with that vacuum. It's a vacuum that doesn't suck, but just shoots out air. And it's just like an air compressor can, except you can use it a billion times and not have to worry about repurchasing and paying a fortune for it. That's all I gotta say. See, drinking right in front of the keyboard that could pour in. But that's all I gotta say about that. It it will save you money in the long run. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.